Hi, everyone, and welcome. Check out this scene. Tremendous buzz in the building here today. A lot of excitement around this college football matchup. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash. A conference that now stretches the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one. As we'll see, the Northwestern Wildcats taking on the Maryland Terrapins. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Terrapins will kick it away and start us off. He'll bring it out from his end zone. And he stopped with the 18. Returner tried to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly to the wide out. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Ball moves to the 37 on the game. It's first down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. The sophomore able to get home with the sack. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. Second down now after the sack. Now the handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Tough spot. The offense has to convert the third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Chris, they don't hit this pass, but I love the approach here as a play caller. Taking a shot and being aggressive. Getting that ball downfield, stretching that defense. Try to keep those safeties back. It can open up other aspects of your offense. They bring the punter onto the field now. The fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking downfield, it's Edwards. Receiver makes the grab. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive back staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Off play action. He's looking to throw. And here comes a deep shot. And the ball is picked off. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. They tackle him after a short return, but they get the football back and set up shot near midfield. Well, how about the defense here? Sitting back in cover two, taking away anything deep downfield. It puts pressure on the underneath coverage. The linebackers have to have some awareness. This linebacker did a nice job of being able to step up and make that interception. Out comes the Northwestern offense onto the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Play action here on first down. Incomplete, almost a disastrous play here on the opening drive. It's going to bring up second down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. 
Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. And this one is caught. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. Here comes the up-tempo offense. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. He lets it go on the move, looking deep. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the right sideline, and it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if a quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, pick up some big yards. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And the quarterback dropping back. Caught near the goal line. He'll go down right there. Worked his way for a short gain, but not enough for the first down. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. And that is no good. And with that miss, the score will stay right where it is. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. Is back out on the field now. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Second down coming up. Backed up here, second and long from the 15. He'll hand it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. To me, anytime you see a one on one opportunity that you feel you can take advantage of it, you go after that matchup. This is a great play here by the quarterback and receiver. And the Terrapins come to the line to run the hurry up. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. 
grab behind the line. It's Howard. And he's going to run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Wanted no part of contact on that play. Second down after that previous play. Takes the handoff. It's Pemby. At the second effort, he's brought down, but it's past the marker. Well, anytime I'm evaluating running backs, it's not just about speed and size and what he brings to the team. It's also about his toughness. Yards after the contact. What kind of balance does he have? How about that run right there? You can bet his teammates and his coaches are very proud of that effort. What a heck of a run there for a nice game. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. You know, when the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line, you love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Touchdown, Terrapin. Strong game by this quarterback. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. And it's 7-0 after the PAT. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Northwestern offense out of the field again. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So... Throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. The sure hands, it's Johnson. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback for recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Snags the quick throw. Tackle, but... First down. The quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. Northwestern getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown.
Now the all-important extra point. And it's up and good. The extra point is good. That ties the game. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And the kickoff will be a return. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Maryland offense back on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. Tackled right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. And everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But, man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching the game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Now it's second down here. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Seven-yard gain sets up a 33. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. You know, offensive linemen with just a certain breed, they're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Handoff here from the shotgun. It's a two-yard game from second and eight coming up. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. He's brought down, but not before crossing midfield of the 42. Hey, how about the quarterback here with his eyes downfield selling the pass to open that play up? But man, offensive line, really good job of selling and then getting upfield to that second level to be able to pick up some key blocks. You're pounding away with the running game. It's first and ten. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Oh, downfield catch made in the left side. And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Off the big play, they are pounding on the door here. First and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. It's now second. They've had the break to talk about it. Now we begin the quarter with the offense set up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball and it's a short game. Well, he came close to putting this ball into the end zone. He comes up short. Now we're looking at a third and goal. Boy, the defense is digging in. The offensive line trying to get a good push. I'm curious to see if they try to run the football again here on third and goal. Defense. Looking for a stop on third and goal. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Third and goal will try to run it in. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Terrapin. That's an old school leap, just up and over the defense into the end zone. And that running back needs to find a picture of that touchdown up into the air. He can frame that. That's a nice score to remember. Try to add to the lead now with the PAT. 
Messi. PAT puts him in front by seven. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback and we'll start at the 25. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain, so second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Offense in hurry-up mode. They'll hand it off. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. A solid run, good for first down yardage. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. He'll hand it off. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. This Northwestern offense is quickly moving down the field. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. Northwestern getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Ball handed off. A gain of two yards, now it's second down and eight. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Give it to the back again. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Well, I feel like they call that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Northwestern now operating in the red zone. Third down, out of the shotgun. He bought some time, now lets it go. He flips it to the back across the middle. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Handoff from the shotgun. And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. And he's a good back. But I love to see that offensive line win the battle with the line of scrimmage. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. 
And he's got it. Touchdown, Northwestern. Well, they slow the game down with a long, winding drive to produce a touchdown. That was impressive. What's impressive to me is the consistency. You know, it's one thing to hit a receiver and you score a big touchdown, but to be able to go and sustain drives and keep the sticks moving, that puts a lot on the quarterback and the execution of the offense. And man, did they make that look easy. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the PAT is good. Kick is good. That ties the game at 14. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Set to advance on the ball. Fields it inside the five yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Their offense is back out on the field now. A beautiful, balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? And that pass is all in over the middle. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. That completion makes it second and medium. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Finally brought down, but that play moves the ball all the way down to the 21. Boy, huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. to throw. It's Edwards. Quick throw over the middle. Pass caught. Can he get in? Tackle is made at the full. It'll be first down and goal. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. He's got it right near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the drag route. You'd prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. Second and goal for the offense. A pop pass on the jet sweep. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Terrapins. Kicking team out for the PAT try. PAT makes it a seven point lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and they bring the football out to the 25-yard line. Okay, here comes the Northwestern offense back out on the field. Quick throw, the catch is made. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. 
That's just what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Well, with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. We go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. No huddle here for the offense. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And an explosive play. The stop finally made across midfield at the 44. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Cut quickly. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Important third down play coming up after that completion. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He's going to take off. Powers through. Slides to avoid the big hit. Well, Chris, that's a great example of why we see these college football coaches bringing in baseball coaches to teach these quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy? Make sure he doesn't get hurt. And that's exactly what he did on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and then pick up the first down. Off the play fake on first down. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. Man heads out of bounds after a decent gain. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice gain. Pass complete. It's second down now. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Trying to convert again on third down. It's third and two. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Catch made on the out route. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Nowhere to run up the middle. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wildcats. 
Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it, and they're an extra point away from tying this game up. And now the try here for the extra point. And there's the point after. The kick is good. That ties the game at 21 apiece. Now they get set to kick it away. Set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Maryland offense back on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. Can the defense make adjustments? It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion and an open man downfield. The ball is just about to get to his receiver. Then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. Important second down play coming up. Back to throw. It's Edwards. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the track route and gets some positive yards. High completion sets up an important third down play. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Trying to extend the play. They chase him down and tried to run for it, but it'll bring up fourth down. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. The Terrapins will have to kick it away. Looking to flip the field here. Choosing to return the punt. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Out comes the Northwestern offense onto the field. Offense has been the story of this first half. Both offenses going up and down the field as the defenses search for answers. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. But this one is broken up, falls incomplete. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. Second down play coming up for this offense. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He fires this throw and is intercepted. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will set up the offense at the 38. That was an impressive effort here by the safety to use his speed and effort to get to that football where it was headed. Secondary coach has got to be proud. Maryland offense is back out on the field now. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Looks left and finds his target there. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. A completion makes it second down. Scanning the field, it's Edwards. Quick throw to his receiver. He's a wide-open receiver, complete. Touchdown, Terrapins. Still no answer for this offense. 
Boy, the timing here is essential between a quarterback and a receiver. You gotta find that window between the linebackers. He does it, puts the ball right on the money, and then how about the speed after the catch by the receiver for the touchdown? Now the important point after attempt. PAT puts him in front by seven. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. Out comes the Northwestern offense out of the field again. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Brings up second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. The pass is caught. Only goes down after a short game. That's not enough for the first down. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Trying to get the throw off. That one sails too far. Out of bounds, incomplete. Well, this quarterback's having one of those games you just dream about. A lot of yards and a lot of touchdown passes. And in fact, he had open receivers again for another big play. The defense finally got pressure on him, or I think it would have been potentially another touchdown. The punt team making their way on the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Final seconds in the first half, they will just take a knee and head to the locker room. So clearly the offense content to take this lead into halftime. The Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors for our halftime update. The kickoff team out there now to get the second half underway. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Maryland offense back out on the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. A game moves the ball out near the 25. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Edwards. It's a quick grab. Good enough for first down yardage. That's a nice pickup there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. Look, give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. 
On third down, he drops to throw. Pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. Well, this is exactly what the defense talked about at halftime, coming up with a stop to start this second half. Now they've done that on this third down. We'll see what happens with the decision on fourth down, but the defense looks at a very different kind of energy to start the second half. And the Terrapins bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Okay, here comes the Northwestern offense back out on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Bringing pressure. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Tough spot here, second and long from the 16. And he drops back in the gun. Defense is coming after him. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Cannot connect. Incomplete. And now fourth down. I like the call here. Third down and long. You know they're going to apply pressure. The screen game almost works. But you've got to complete the pass for your guy to have a chance to turn up field. It's a missed opportunity there on third down and long. The special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. The returner is brought down. There is a flag on the field, so we'll check out this call. Offense gets a second chance after the roughing the punter penalty. Here's a quick throw off the play fake. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Getting set. Here's second down. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down to the 42. I really like the throw here, Chris. But the fake off the play action was just as effective. You saw the second level defenders freeze for a split second. And that helps open those passing windows. Northwestern getting set with a first and ten coming up. Looking to chuck it again. Makes a quick grab. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. That gain sets up a third down play. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away. And now fourth down coming up. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. is Just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And here's the return. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. 
Maryland offense is back out on the field now. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game, held them just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays in second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Dropping back, it's Edwards. Snags the quick throw and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. A tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. That's good timing there. Receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're going to run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line because this play takes some time for the receiver to work his way across the field on that drag route, and the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage and make the accurate throw. Inside give now from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. The shotgun handoff here. That one moves the ball across the 40. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Receiver makes the grab. Put out of the 46, good enough for a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. The Terrapins will try to keep this drive moving. Looking for some space. It's Pemby. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Looking for the wideout. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. Short pass finds the tight end. So much pressure on the defense against the RPO because you're always going to be wrong if it's executed correctly. Here, they were determined to stop the run. The problem is, you leave yourself vulnerable to a throw into a flat. Right flat's open, the quarterback makes the right throw. And look at these yards. And the Terrapins are going to cash in here in the red zone. Keep it on the ground, there's the handoff. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line. But get the running back and assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Terrapins with first and ten here. Looking to pass, it's Edwards. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. That's an easy completion for the quarterback. Finding his receiver just dragging underneath coverage. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. And there's the handoff. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the Terrapins will line up now. It's first and goal. 
First and goal, handoff. Touchdown, Terrapin. This offense really clicking. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And now here comes the point after attempt. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team now set to boot this one away. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. Out comes the Northwestern offense onto the field. The last drive they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackle made after a big game. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. And that's a first down for the offense. Solid game moves the ball to the 48. First down play here. Offense looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Porter. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. First down here for this offense. Now they run a draw play. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. They look to throw it here on second down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Zero running room stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. First and 10 now for the offense. And they'll use the ground game here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Running back with the football. They keep feeding the running back, but he's had nowhere to go tonight. They've been dominated at the line of scrimmage. No gain there. This defense has been getting sliced up on the drive, but they push back that time, Kirk. Yeah, kind of a bend but don't break mentality by this defense. They have been giving up some big chunks here on this drive, but let's see if a stop like this can give them a little bit of confidence here. Now try to pressure the quarterback on these upcoming plays. Pressure is coming. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback.
And here comes the punter onto the field. The punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 10. Here comes the Maryland offense back on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. They'll stop at the 34. That will be a first down. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. The Terrapins come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Offense getting set. Second down play here. To the air. It's Edwards. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment. But here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he's got his man open downfield. Worked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This air attack, no problem moving the ball up and down the field today. Well, why not, Chris? Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's third down. This guy's been making plays all game long. Go back to him again, and it works out. And the Terrapins are moving quickly down the field. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Trying to find room. It's Pemby. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game. Because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. The ball is loose. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. Oh, what a play by this defense. Trailing in the second half. Really, the only way you can get back into this game is create turnovers. Ball's on the ground. They pounce on it, and they get the ball back to their own offense. Out comes the Northwestern offense onto the field again. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Punt quickly. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. And I love how they're using the receiver here in motion. With a weapon like this, just get him the football. Simple throw for the quarterback. He's got all that speed built up. You get him the ball out there in space with a couple blockers, and you get big plays like this right here. First down, looking to throw the football. Looking for his big tight end. He's got it near the end zone. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. So the offense really clicking here. Three plays, and suddenly it's first and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Northwestern. Northwestern. 
That's a crucial score, Kirk. Makes it a one-possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. The momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. The extra point is good. Cuts it to a seven-point game, 35-28. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Merrill offense is back out on the field now. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away, chew on the clock. Oh, how will they call it here? Well, if you're going to run the read option, you're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. Looking downfield, it's Edwards. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Chris, that's another nice pick up through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. The Terrapins churn out another first down. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. And the Terrapins line up on first and ten now. They'll ride the back again here. Breaks loose at the 45. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. The Terrapins pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. On the ground, it's McDonald. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Using his legs here. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. Can they convert on third down to keep this drive rolling? To throw, it's Edwards looking for his back. Dumps a short throw down to the running back. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. When the defense gets these guys to third down, they got a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. Throws it to the right. Passes caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. They go with the lead. These guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you'd want to run the football here to work the clock. But these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Snapping it from the red zone now. Looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Wade. Brought down at the seventh. The completion moves him closer to the goal line. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. 
Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. And off in a single back formation. And he's tackled down at the four yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And Chris, it makes you wonder with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing the defense sitting back in their base. I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. I love that this defense is still fighting and still attacking. They're defending a first and goal play, and instead of just laying down and letting the offense score, no, no. They're not backing down. They get penetration and come up with a tackle for a loss. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And that's a solid game for the defense able to bring him down. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Kimi decides to keep it here. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Terrapins. So they'll try to add to the lead the now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A two-touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Okay, here comes the Northwestern offense back out on the field. Looking to throw it on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 31. That's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. On first and ten, looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Porter. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. And the big numbers just continue to pile up for this quarterback. That's more than 400 passing yards in the game now, Kirk. Chris, this defense has tried everything to slow him down, and nothing has worked. Whether they play zone or man, they blitz to try to put pressure. Anything to get him out of his rhythm has not been able to work because of the way this guy's been able to read coverage and get the ball out of his hands quickly, and the results have been a monster day. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. The offense now looking at a third and short from their own 40, trying to keep this drive going. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Northwestern getting set with a first and 10 coming up. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. It's caught downfield. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. I feel like this quarterback can make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork, a curl route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. No huddle now for the offense. And looking to throw now on first down. 
And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. It leads to second down. And here comes play number six on this drive. And he's back to throw again on second and ten. He lets it go on the move. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game, but they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. Northwestern now operating in the red zone. First down, looking to throw the ball. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. It's incomplete. It's second down. Second down play coming up. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. Looking to throw it on third and very long. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Touchdown, Wildcats. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Chris, they did what they had to do with this touchdown here. Now with under a minute to go, you got to get that onside kick to give yourself a real shot. Here's the point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail them. That makes the score. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration.